If any character in modern America approximates King Herod, it's the open border sanctuary city politician who enables merchants of death in the illicit drug and human trafficking trades to exploit the vulnerable on both sides of the border. Criminal organizations send their soldiers to a sanctuary city like Chicago to peddle their poison on the streets because the mayor said he makes no distinctions among those who seek entrance to America. And then, a known member of the Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua gets caught selling crack to an undercover cop to underscore the reality that criminal organizations embed their people in the migrant caravans coming across the border. It is the open borders sanctuary city politician who makes promises and press releases he never thinks he'll be challenged to honor. People, decent people, who want to come to America for a better life rely on those promises. And then they come to a sanctuary city like Chicago because the mayor told them to come. And they're warehoused in an old commercial building living with their children and 2,300 others in unsanitary conditions with no food and no proper clothing for the cold, 